A week after the BTEC results were delayed by Pearson. A week after, what is it, the Cambridge, the OCR, the Oxford and Cambridge uh, board, the issuing the Cambridge technicals, that also has been delayed by a week. And it's not as if these, well, some of these results may have come out, but not all of them have. It's abhorrent, it's outrageous that after two years of academic crisis because of COVID, we can't get our act together to get these results in place for students. It is absolutely abhorrent. It is more abhorrent and it is more disgraceful that the current Education Secretary, um, Mr Cleverly, cannot be bothered to get on the media and apologise or explain what people are doing in his name or not doing in his name. Now, I know he's only just been appointed and I know he has many good qualities, but clearly uh, taking responsibility for the actions which he has inherited, uh, that's a matter of honour, is not one of them. And that doesn't augur well for the future, does it? I am deeply, deeply disappointed. And I'm terribly sorry to all those people who took the advice of the government to pursue BTEX and are left without a result and therefore are left in a certain amount of limbo. It's unfair, it's disgraceful. And um, these businesses, well, the government, the Ministry of Education should be looking at giving these licenses to other companies with some speed and we should make sure that this never happens again. But we need that commitment from the Educational Secretary. And we're not getting it. We're getting the sort of silence that Gavin Williamson prided himself in. Go, Gavin, go! <laughs> there we are. Bay remembers all the Forrest Gump re uh, references very well. Bay was a great fan of Forrest Gump. <laughs>